Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a look at Discriminator style transfer over on GitHub here. What is all this about? Well, let's see. Performs style transfer by using a neural network to discriminate between the style image features and the generated image features. Results yield higher quality transfers than contemporary methods. Ooh, okay. So we've got some pictures there, but... Uh, not really any examples of the actual style transfer. Uh, well, let's let's get it installed and running then we can have a look. Now, the requirements are down the bottom here, so you'll have to scroll down first. I know normally they're up the top there, but uh, yes, they are down the bottom this time. And of course, as always, I am using Anaconda. Now you can download it with Git clone as always, and I am using Python 3.7. Now we've got the requirements here. Basically, PyTorch, NumPy, Matplotlib, Pillow, and TQDM. All fairly standard stuff. In fact, I've already got a uh, Conda environment with all that in already. My GAN space one already uses PyTorch. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just using that. But if you want to use your own from scratch, you can create one like this. So just uh, create it, activate it, install those packages. Now, if you're using one of the new cards in the RTX 3000 series like I am, then you will want to use the CUDA Toolkit 11.0 and uh, you can get how to install PyTorch locally from that URL. But uh, that's what I did on my one for CUDA 11 and uh, make sure you're using the PyTorch channel there, minus C PyTorch, that will get everything installed and running. Now the first example they give on the page here is just a style representation, so that's what that image is there, the style representation, but we want to have a look at the style transfer. Hmm. Okay, well, let's have a look at the style transfer then. Now, we've got an example style transfer here, and of course I have done a couple already, and found about the maximum image size that looks quite good is 720. Now, you will need uh, over 20 gigs of uh, VRAM to do this on your GPU. Um, the default size is 224, and um, that's good, but a little bit small. So, let's have a look. We got the we've got the main command here. It's 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 quite small, and we'll pop that in there. There we go. Okay, so you basically just select the style, select the content, device CUDA because that's ever so much faster, and then the image size. Uh, pretty sure this works on CPU as well, given that it is PyTorch. So let's uh, pop this back and uh, styles. I'm going to go for well, I've got my own styles, so let's let's go into there. So pictures. Oops. Uh, da, 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 pictures. Now, this is a style, so I'm in my styles directory, and I've got the wave. So, if we just have a quick look at that one, so this is my styles directory. Down the bottom here, we've got the wave. You may recognize this one. There you go. So, that is the style that I am using. Now, as for the picture, let's take this one here. So, we've got a tower, so that's going to be the content. So, we're going to take that tower and then apply the wave style to it. Okay, so we've got the wave style. I need that tower now. So let's just take the tower. Oops, I can't spell my own name. And there we go. Okay, so device CUDA, image size 720. Let's run that through and see what happens. As you can see, it gives you all the settings there. So these are also available. We've got some of the, uh, the common options down here. Uh, so you can select which distance function you want to use, number of samples, steps, image size, which I'm changing there, uh, the different uh, learning rates for the image and the discriminator. Uh, you've got options there to use Adam by default. You can also change the CNN. Uh, now the first time you run that, that will download a little CNN for you. Uh, and you can also change the uh, image initialization as well. But let's uh, let's do typical nerdy rodent style and uh, modify time. And there we go. As you can see, it's done. It's given us a little graph. And if we close that, we can see in the output directory over here, we have the generated image. And there it is. Ooh, looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So let's have a look at that. And there's the style. And if we just open up the original one as well. There we go. 
There's the original one. Style for that. And the output, that's, that's pretty high quality. And that's just using the default settings there, apart from changing the image size up to about 720. Now, what I have found is uh, these other functions, while a lot faster, um, are not quite as good quality. Um, and if you also change the initial image, so we've got this minus minus init dash IMG, and if you change that to content, uh, then the results do look even better. So I have some of those here. So let's just have a look in this uh, saves directory. Got some examples. So here is an original picture of beard, I call it. So that's beard. And then we've got beard with flowers. And that's the style there. So that's pretty cool. And that's uh, that's a 512 dimension one. So that's the that's the default. Uh, you can also change the dimensions here. So uh, yeah, dimensions, hidden layers, of the discriminator. So that's just just playing with that. Um, and here is the 1024 version. So you can see they're they're quite similar. Let's just pop that there, pop that there. So there you go, 512, 1024. There's a style original image. All very very cool, I think. It it, it is certainly correct. That is definitely a high quality image. Now, this one down here was also very, very good. I did I did like the output from this one. So there's there's the original image. And then we've got the, uh, the style. So there's the style. And then that came out like that. So that was pretty cool, I thought. There we go, so original image, style, output. Just line those up slightly nicely. <laughs> there we go. So I, I thought that came out very well. Let's uh, let's just pretty much turn that picture into a sketch. That's that's very high quality. I like it. Anyway, do have a play. There it is, discriminator style transfer, and uh, I will leave you with a few more of those style transfer images for you to enjoy. Rodent out for now.